It marks the 40th annual National Missing Children's Day. It's a powerful reminder of the thousands of missing children and efforts to find them. 11 Alive's Bo Beth Yates joins us in studio with more on a local missing persons case and a family's efforts to find their loved one. Well, Anthony Mural was just nine when he vanished from his Metro Atlanta neighborhood, never to be seen again. And as the nation pauses to honor National Missing Children's Day, his family is hanging on to hope. We don't know what happened to him. We don't know if he's dead. We don't know if he's alive. Stuart Knox is talking about his younger brother, Anthony Morell, who disappeared decades ago when he never returned home after playing outside. My brother has been missing since 1971, and they treated it as though he was a runaway kid, and he never was a runaway kid. He was truly loved. Knox says over the years, help finding his brother did increase, especially with assistance from organizations like the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. Still, those efforts have been unsuccessful. And in this picture, you can see what Anthony would look like today. But the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children officials say the Knox family is just one of thousands who are in need of help finding their loved ones. Last year, we assisted with well over 27,000 missing child cases here in the United States. According to what we're told, what we learn from each and every case and, and how we're assisting law enforcement, one in six children were likely victims of child sex trafficking. It's a staggering number and it's, it's extremely unfortunate. And those children are in danger. They need our help. And Bischoff says the public can help by reporting suspicious activity. Behind every image you see of a missing child is a family sleepless nights wondering where their child is. And honestly, all it takes is one set of eyes to be a hero. As for Knox, he says his family is hanging on to hope. Well, we never found the body. The body has never been found. So that keeps hope alive, just the mere fact that they never found a body. And nobody never really put up a real good effort in those days to look for black kids. 